The Lives of the Dead, the final story in the things they carried, opens with the narrator's claim that stories can save us. In a story, a kind of dream, the dead live again in the writer's or the reader's mind. The narrator recalls the first body he saw in Vietnam, that of an old Vietnamese man. Each soldier greets the corpse by shaking its hand. The narrator feels sick, but Dave Jensen says there's nothing to be afraid about, just a nice old man. But the dead man reminds the narrator of Linda. When they were nine, he and Linda went on a date to the movies together, chaperoned by his parents. The narrator thinks about how the soldiers dealt with Ted Lavender's death. They conversed with his body about the mellow war and the once-in-a-lifetime trip he was about to take on the chopper. They made Ted into a story. The narrator remembers there was a dead soldier in the movie he and Linda saw on their date. Linda wore a red knit cap every day at school and took some teasing, especially from a school bully, Nick, who lifted her cap during class one day, revealing that Linda was almost bald and had stitches on her scalp. Linda died of brain cancer at nine, but in a story the narrator can revive, at least briefly, that which is absolute and unchanging about Linda. He struggled as a child to understand her death. Afterward, he willed her alive in imagined conversations during which she comforted him. The soldiers in Vietnam told stories, too, to make the dead not quite so dead. The stories might be blatant lies, but they give the dead new bodies for the souls to inhabit. The narrator recalls a day when he and five other soldiers gather enemy corpses. Mitchell Sanders pronounces a simple moral, death sucks. After Linda's death, the narrator told himself elaborate stories so that he would see Linda in his dreams. At 43, the narrator still dreams Linda back into life. Kiowa, Ted, and Kurt, too. Under the spell of memory and imagination, he realizes that his stories have saved his own life. Instead of stopping Nick's cruel behavior toward Linda, the narrator thought of his reputation and pride, and he still regrets his inaction. If the story had been different and he had stopped the teasing, he could draw on that story later in life when he needed to be brave because of the power of his storytelling. Throughout the book, the narrator tells the stories he needs to hear in order to grieve the dead. The stories may not always be accurate, but if they convey story truth, the feelings that surround events, the essence of the people involved, they do their work.